As you guys might know by now, the crypto space is absolutely crazy. With new projects coming along every single day and many of the old ones doing massive numbers, just absolutely massive. And then I'm talking about people turning $1,000 into $10,000 in a few weeks. And now I'm not here to claim that everybody can do it even though I think everybody could do it. The reason I'm stating it like that is because if we take a look at memes, coins that really don't do too much for the most part, except for just being a funny concept, if you just bought them last month, you'd right now be up hundreds of percent. For example, Pepe is up 830% today. Shiba Inu up 240%. Uh, I'm not sure if I said today, but I meant this month. Whiff is up 620% this month, even up like 50% today. You get the idea. Bank 177%. Floki, one of the coins I talked about before it went crazy, is up 812% as well. And it's just massive numbers all around. And the question I get very often is, where do you buy these coins? Where to buy meme coins? How to make gains on them, where to buy them. And even though I've made a video on it before, I thought it would be wise to do a little bit of a simpler guide on how to find these coins and how to actually transact. There are a couple ways to look at meme coins and to find them. Number one is to find them on a place that lists many different cryptocurrencies like CoinMarketCap, a crypto exchange like, for example, Bybit, or something for, I would say, the smaller coins, a website like, for example, Dex Tools. Now, if you want to buy directly off of one of these websites, I'd say the only one is the second option, so a centralized exchange like Bybit, Coinbase, Binance, you name it. The plus side being it's very easy to get money in, like your dollars or euros, etc. The negative side being there are not that many meme coins on there, which is obviously a big negative if you want to buy these coins early. But again, the pro is that it's very safe. It's not that easy to mess up. It's all pretty convenient. And you know exactly what you're buying. You can see a full history, everything. And if you want to check out Bybit, which is the exchange I personally use, there's a link down below. And I've probably left a couple of other links there as well for you to check out. But if you want to buy a coin that's not listed on one of the exchanges you know and love, uh, and you don't know where else to buy it. You've never found it anywhere else. We can take, for example, a, uh, a, a Miro here as an example. You could look at this markets tab to see where it's traded on. So let's say I did not use Bybit, KuCoin, Gate, uh, wherever all these centralized exchanges, all of these are not available to me. I, for example, only use Coinbase. What I could do is I could take some Ethereum or Solana out from the exchange I use, put it onto another wallet, which I'll show you guys in just a second, and use that money that's now on the new wallet to buy these meme coins, regardless of the country I'm in, regardless of whether or not it's available, because this is available to anybody. And where I could see where it's available is by pressing this button, which is called DEX, right? So here you can see I can actually buy it on Radium, Orca, and I think that perhaps might be the only two massive options. Oh, of course, Jupiter as well. These are DEXs, decentralized exchanges for Solana, and so this, since this coin is based on Solana, that's where you find it. If it was a coin based on Ethereum, it might say Uniswap. I'll show you. We could pick anyone, like for example, your Pepe. You can see it's built, uh, the contract here says Ethereum. It's built on Ethereum. And so if we go to markets as well, and we skip all these uh, centralized exchanges, on DEXs, the top one is gonna say Uniswap. Don't worry about the V2 or V3. And there's gonna be some other coins here as well that are based on the Binance Smart Chain, which will probably use PancakeSwap, another place to swap. So for your wallets, if you wanna go for Binance Smart Chain or for uh, Ethereum type of meme coins or coins in general, I'd go for MetaMask. It's the most used crypto wallet, I think. Um, but I noticed in one of my previous videos, somebody said, Dusty, can I use this, that, 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 or that wallet? Coinbase wallet, OKX wallet, Bybit wallet, BitGet wallet. There's like a thousand different wallets that work. These are just the two most popular that I'm naming here, but many will work. They're all pretty similar. If you're using Trust Wallet or Coinbase wallet, you will be fine. I'm just naming a few examples, but most wallets work fine. So for Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Linea, ZK Sync, Avalanche, BNB, as I said, uh, Arbitrum, Manta, 
Polygon or Base or Optimism, you understand for all these different type of coins, you can easily use MetaMask. For all your Cosmos or Injective or Celestia or Neutron, just everything in the Cosmos hub. If you don't know what it is, don't worry about it. But anything of that nature, you can use either Leap Wallet or Kepler. It's just so I'm showing you the right website, it looks like this, Kepler. Both of those wallets are very well used. And for Solana type of coins, meme coins, whatever, uh, the Phantom app is definitely most popular. Again, there are multiple options, but I'm just showing you some of the most used ones. So now you're gonna have to install the wallet. And if you don't know how to do that, just type it in how to install MetaMask or just press download and go through the steps, back up your wallet, make sure you back it up because if you lose those numbers, you lose your money. So back it up properly. Don't just take a screenshot, write it down. Nobody's gonna be able to recover the data for you if you mess up, that's crypto for you. And if you wanna get money in there, you're going to need a exchange, buy some, depending on what type of coin you're buying, Ethereum or BNB or Solana on that exchange and send it to your wallet. And if you wanna know exactly where to withdraw this Ethereum to, how to find your address that you've gotta send your funds to, if we take an exchange change like Bybit, we'd have to enter our wallet address in right here. For chain type, press ERC20. If we're trying to get Ethereum meme coins, and again, another one, if we wanted some different sort of meme coin, Binance Smart Chain, for example, for, you guessed it, Binance Smart Chain meme coins. And the address to insert, you find if you open MetaMask, right there. So you just press copy to clipboard, put it in the address section. And if it asks for a memo, you're not gonna need it unless in your wallet it says you need a memo. But I can't think of why you'd need one. So you don't need to put a comment if it asks you for one. But of course you can always just test it with a tiny amount because if you've done it once, you'll know it forever. So even if you have to pay a tiny fee to do it, to test everything out, it's a lesson. So you're basically paying for the lesson. And in case something goes wrong, you're gonna be glad you did with a little amount. So once there's money in your MetaMask or et cetera, you can actually go ahead and look through like coin uh, or I guess Dex tools. There's two other ones, BirdEye, or um, Dex Screener, for example, anything would work. And you can look through, hey, for example, I wanna buy a bag of you know, this shit, <laughs> or I wanna buy a whatever is the hottest meme code right now. These are the ones that went crazy just now. But you can also just type in, you can copy either an address, you can, uh, so you can go ahead, for example, to whatever, we pick one. And down below there is a contract. You can copy that contract, for example, and insert it into here to find the chart, etc. Or you can look over on the top left at different chains, at different coins to see how they are doing, if that's something you're interested in. For example, you only want to buy yourself some base meme coins. You press base, and you perhaps look for what's hot, or you look for what's you know, any different criteria. And then if you wanna buy or sell this, let's say we pick, for example, a uh, Ethereum type of coin, we pick a, a Pepe, for example. Now this you could easily buy on most exchanges, right? But let's say you don't have that option. We go right here, uh, this button, you see here Pepe, it gives you an option to copy. You copy that address. We go to whichever decentralized exchange that allows for us to transfer this. And we can go and see by either just going to the, set, the decentralized exchange, for example, Uniswap here, pressing launch app on the top right. And now by inserting the um, the address in right there, you can see, hey, it shows Pepe. So right now I'm trying to uh, sell Pepe. This way I am buying something with, for example, 0.5 ETH. I can put in how much I wanna buy, for example, 0.1 ETH. And the negative thing about Ethereum is that the gas fee, you can see here it's gonna cost around 42. Don't hold this number too dearly. This might be significantly more or a tiny bit less, but just to give you an indication that it's expensive, to buy. So the Binance Smart Chain and Solana are significantly cheaper or even base, which is nearly zero. It's just to give you guys some idea. And all you'd have to do now is just press swap. But let's say you wanna find out where it's traded, right? Cause you don't know some stuff about it. You could go to CoinMarketCap, press a coin, like for example here, Myra, press markets, like I said, and you can see if you press DEXs, this button right there, uh, which place you could check out. And for Solana, I'd personally always try Radium or Jupiter first, they'll mostly work. And again, the wallet you're gonna need for that is the Phantom Wallet, but the rest of the posts is the same. You go over to the bottom left, you copy this contract, and depending on whether or not it's a small or big meme coin, you can probably go and start out with Radium. If it's a bigger coin, then you can go to Jupiter. Insert the address like we did before, and sometimes it just shows you this don't worry, just make sure you copy the right address. So you can see here we copied this and inserted it and you'll buy the right thing. Sometimes it takes either a little bit of time to show up what exactly you are buying or sometimes it might never show up at all. But again, if I try to put it in here in this case here, it showed up. Sometimes it doesn't. 
And of course, we had to connect our wallet before, then insert how much Solana worth of miner we'd wanna buy, and then just press uh, swap. And that's essentially it. That's essentially how you buy meme coins. You can do it on a centralized exchange like a Bybit, etc. really, really easily. I hope everything is, uh, is, is clear. I think it's pretty simple as long as you get the steps and you know where to look. Now that you know the exchanges, so any exchange that's centralized can probably work, but you know the DEXs, you know the wallets, and you know which currency you should use, and you know the general process, I think you guys will be able to figure out how to do this for most different meme coins and different coins. Again, it's all pretty similar from the step process I just showed you. And for selling, it's the same exact process reversed. So hypothetically speaking, if I had Pepe and I wanted to sell it back to Ethereum, I would just press this button, click. Uh, and now I can insert, I wanna sell, you know, um, freaking a million Pepe for Ethereum. You see how much I'd get. Or I switch this up and I wanna sell it for, for example, USDT. I'd press that button like that. Sometimes you can try both of them because you might get more in USDT than with Ethereum. But probably the gas will be higher for USDT than for Ethereum. So you kind of have to weigh that off, but you'll see that all as you press the swap button. Should add one more thing. And that is that if you're using Ethereum here and uh, you go to Uniswap, it might, if you're trying to spend USDT to buy a meme coin, it might ask you to approve it first. Just know there might sometimes be two transactions. One is to basically agree with the contract that the platform, in this case your Uniswap, can spend your dollars to buy something. And then the second transaction to actually buy something. Now, depending on the details, that transaction might cost you money or it's basically two in one where you're only signing one thing. But just know sometimes it might be two transactions, one to say, yes, you are allowed to spend my money and one's to just buy it. If you're using Ethereum though, you'll, you'll, you'll just notice if it ever comes up. I just wanted to quickly put that out there. And yeah, I think that's uh, about it. So hopefully you guys know how to buy meme coins by now. Hopefully this can help somebody out. It's just been the most requested topic, even though I made a video on it before. And uh, good luck hunting meme coins, my friends. Good luck. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel for future updates. And if you learn something, press that like button, maybe.